So recently I got two messages on LinkedIn asking how did I get uh, a part-time job in a bank because it's so so difficult for like international students to get part-time jobs in a retail bank while you're in university. So here's my experience, what I did, what worked for me, what didn't work for me and I hope it helps you too. Canada in 2015 for my masters and my first job was in Subway and my second job was in McDonald's and I completely absolutely didn't like it because I mean let's face it fast food industry jobs you have to stand on your feet for long you get paid nothing but peanuts and I just wanted an out because I just felt like I could do so much better with the jobs that were out there so when I first started applying to like all you know ba banking jobs as a teller I did it all online because that's how they accept job applications. So I did that for about three or four months of, you know, applying online, talking to people and nothing seemed to work for me because I didn't get a response back. The only responses I got back were emails saying, you know, thank you for your application. But at this time we decided to move forward with someone else. I actually even remember it to this date what the email stated. But what I did was one fine day I woke up, I was just really tired of like not knowing where was I going wrong, if something's wrong with my resume if something's wrong with the way I'm applying or the timing of it all or just that I didn't have any experience in the Canadian banking retail sector right so all I did was I got dressed up I got professionally dressed up I had a huge smile on my face I walked into one of the Canadian banks here uh, and then I went to the receptionist I said I want to talk to the branch manager regarding this job that I saw online and uh, she said you need to apply it online I mean there's no point talking to a branch manager luckily for me the branch manager had no appointments for the day she said okay fine you know what just come in my uh, office let's just talk and she asked me all of these questions and then I asked her like why am I not hearing back like why am I getting emails is something wrong with my resume you know I feel like I am qualified with all the requirements in the the description that you provided for the job but I just don't seem to get it and it's not just been like one month or two months it's been six months um, so she said yeah because where I was studying Kamloops was relatively a smaller city people who applied to these positions that were opening up there were like 100 plus students applying to the same teller positions and they're like if HR finds good people in the first 10 or first 15 resumes they don't look at the next 75 resumes and I'm like oh okay so yeah and we spoke about uh, for I think about 15 20 minutes about you know where I see myself in five years what are my goals my ambition what got me to TRU or Kamloops you know since I was in India like what, what so we spoke heart to heart for like 20 minutes and my agenda was just to know what is her mindset and what's her thought process and she said you know what if there's anything else give me your email ID I'll pass it on to like HR and I'm like okay I walked out of there not expecting a job but I walked out of there understanding and just getting and growing my network connections so the same day I sent her a LinkedIn request after that the next week I get an email saying that you're invited for a job interview uh, as a bank teller at this this uh, at this bank so uh, we would love to and this is your timing and I got a call set up the interview I went in there there were five people ahead of me and I'm like oh my god these people look older to me they have experience I've spoken to them I don't know if I can a nail this interview but again I had no expectations I went into the interview with a huge smile with my resume I was calm and composed very very confident and sat there and you know un answered all my questions I did my research I did whatever I could in terms of being competent enough in a job interview right so came back out I'm like okay no expectations let's see where this goes don't have high hopes and then after that um, I get a call next week saying that uh, yeah you got uh, you got the job offer uh, this, these are your timings can you tell us what timings work for you because it's it was a part-time job so it depends on when I had my classes and when I didn't and I'm like this is great so my advice to you would be a network B don't be afraid to go in there and ask the industry expert of their opinions on you know your resume how to apply for better jobs just talk to them just you know build network connections with them and just be calm and composed with it and a lot of people don't apply to jobs because they think that what's the point of applying I'm not gonna get it anyway but this is the thing this is what is going to be holding you back if you don't apply to jobs thinking that uh, I'm not gonna be getting it anyway you're losing an opportunity right there what if you actually 
actually get it like for me i had to change that mindset that i had i had that mindset for a long time and i'm like i need to change and reverse that mindset of okay i'm not going to be scared if i don't get it at least i tried and if i get it well you know well and good for me so don't be afraid to apply for the job you think you're overqualified for apply for jobs talk to people build your network and just be calm and composed right like don't lowball yourself when you have or when you know something that you really really want like i really wanted to not work in a fast food industry ever in my life and i'm like this is my out this is how i'm gonna get it so yeah let me know in the comment section below if you have any further questions i would love to do a video to like you know answer all of those questions all right guys thank you so much for watching subscribe like the video and thank you for all the support that all my friends are showing i've been getting calls messages and it's been really really overwhelming so thank you so much for that and i'll see you guys in the next video